Obstruct obtained. Elixir. Master Seal. So those are our bonuses for saving all the villagers. Welcome back, my friendly friends. Nice going. You really showed them what the Divine Dragon can do. To more Fire Emblem Engage. Pharaoh Fiasco here. And yeah, last episode we met Fogato and the rest of the Sentinels. Uh, promoted number one and promoted number two. Now, to Soul Palace. Stay close. I'd hate for you to split off and get lost. Again. Thanks, Fogato. This ought to be interesting. It's been years since I visited the palace. Years? I thought Solm and Firinay had a good relationship. Our countries are allies, sure, but that doesn't mean our families are close-knit. In fact, out of Solm's whole royal family, my mother and I have only met Queen Sephoria. Okay. I'm assuming the last the last uh, royal who's going to join us, the girl from the opening, which means Alfred's not acquainted with her at all. What? No one else? Nope. Not the royal consort, not the crown princess, and not her brother, the prince. Who is probably Fogato. That's strange. I never met them either. Same thing happened to you, huh? I may have forgotten the way to the palace, but I remember well what happened there. Oh, sounds like there's a bit more of a story to it in Diamond's case. It was a strange scene. The queen received us alone, with no one attending her. When we asked to meet the princess and prince, she told us they weren't there. She told us the exact same thing. I asked when they'd be back, and she said, no idea. It didn't make sense. If you're royalty, you can't leave your castle whenever you like. Well, maybe things just work different, uh, different in Solm. I got the feeling she was hiding them from us. But why? Were they sick or shy? Shy? <laughs> that would surprise me. Everyone we've met here has been so friendly. The Queen is too. There are just some things about the royal family that don't add up. Look, as long as they're not serving Sombron, then it's all gravy in my book. Let's be on guard, alright? Got it. Alright. The Divine Dragon hath spoken. There it is! We're here! Soul Palace. Now all that's left is asking those guards to open the gate. Thanks for leading the way, Fogato. I don't know how we'd have gotten here without you. I don't know if we'd have gotten here without you. Of course. Just another day in the life of a sentinel. I'll be sure to commend you to the Queen. Anyway, now we'd better be on our way. Huh? Uh, Fogato? What are you doing? Talking to the guards! What else? Right! How else, uh, how else are we gonna get in without the word of the Crown Prince? Does he have a meeting with the Queen as well? Beats me. Maybe he's here on some kind of Sentinel business. Fogato! Wait for us! Hmm. Hey! I'm home! Home? Welcome back, Prince Fogato. Yeah, the, the most non-surprise surprise ever. I'll open the gate. Yes, let the gate be open! Prince. Did that guard say Prince? Uh, unless we misheard him. In exactly the same way. Thanks for waiting, folks. So I wonder if everybody... Well, I wonder if the entire royal family has those eyes. Fogato, we're a little confused. Are you the Prince of Solm? Did I not mention that? You did not, no. Uh, no, you didn't. Whoops, <laughs> egg me face. Right, let me do this properly. I'm Fogato, captain of the Sentinels and the Prince of Solm. Welcome to my family's palace. Come on in, you wanted to meet mom, right? Mom, visitors! He's so what careful. is happening? I mean, we got exactly what we wanted. I didn't realize he was royalty. A prince personally going on patrols. Not something you see every day. But very commendable. I wonder why we never met him before. He doesn't seem sick. He's certainly not shy. It's a mystery. Anyway, let's head in. Don't want to keep Prince Fogato waiting. So... 
the end, like whatever the reason was, I'm sure it's an interesting one. Oh, Marth. Corrupted Marth. Who wasn't, he wasn't nearly, oh my gosh. The people, uh, Celica, far and away, the worst one to fight against. And it's mainly because when it's something that can happen every other turn, it's oppressive. <laughs> Stolen, miserable, torn apart from your friends. How delicious. Lady Vale. Zephia, tell me, what are the Divine Dragon's forces up to? They pass through the shadowy moor. It appears they've arrived in Sol. So they did not return to Brodia. They're gathering more rings. Good. For us? You're not gonna get your hands on any more of our rings. Can we go after them, Lady Vale? I'm itching for a rematch. Patience, Marnie. If we wait, we can steal Solm's ring from them along with the others. Oh, smart. I'll be a good girl and wait then. You are a treasure, Marnie. Isn't she just the pride of the four hounds? So does that mean that Marnie's the strongest one then? <laughs> you two really heap on the praise. That's why I love ya. <laughs> You're such a child. Praise is for chumps. It's much more fun to be punished. This friggin' guy. Worry not, Chris. You will soon have all the agony your heart could want. That's what I like to hear. The perks of the gig right there. And you, Mavir? How would you like to be rewarded? Nothing for me, my lady. Yeah, this dude is definitely the, uh... What's his friggin' name? Ugh. Starts with an M. That guy that you meet right after What's Her Face kicks the bucket in uh, Awakening. He's got those recruitable villain vibes. You won't even say my name. How cold. Uh... That's all right. For now, we wait, we watch, and then when the time comes. <sighs> Okay, so this is what's going on with them then. They've got like a little launch sort of thing going on. Lady Vale? I've been awake for too long. I'm asleep. Here are your instructions. Zephia, take charge. As you wish. So whatever's going on with Vale is the exact same thing that's going on with us then. But we don't have to sleep because I guess we're a merger of our evil and good halves. So that killer in silver bow. Oh, a nice little moor, nice little pier. Wait, what? That must be a paralog. Hold on, have I been unlocking paralogs and not realizing it? Chapter 13, Oasis Village. Paralogue, Arena of the Gods. Yes, I have been. Okay, Paralogue, Plains of Swift Winds. Which probably means more characters to unlock. Alright. I want that... I want that... Uh, the princess before we do that So let's actually go to The Somniel first I don't think we unlocked any uh oh I actually ate okay so I did eat and train before that So we had HP plus two because I did sit-ups for the first time and then we ate a really good meal Because I saw that I wanted uh, Jean to get some experience I wanted Jean to get some bonuses, and Jean apparently has a, um, wait, I didn't get to read what that said. Oh, I guess we unlocked a new difficulty at strength training. That's what, that's the thing that was up there. Iolanta and Jean, oh, we unlocked their C support. It took a while for that. Jean, are you not getting enough greens at the cafe? 
Oh, no. I'm actually picking medicinal herbs. See? Wow. You've got a ton picked already. He's so... diligent. This one acts as a painkiller, and this one is useful in several ointments. It used to grow all over my home island, but it's gotten harder to find lately. Well, good thing it seems to be in plenty of abundance in the Somniel. So I'm picking some here to send back to my father. For the clinic on your island, right? Well, this is a lot for one person to harvest alone. Let me help you. No, no, no. That's okay. You must have a lot of other important things to do, Divine One. Considering we're just wandering around in the middle of the day, I doubt it. Not so many that I can't lend a hand here. Besides, with the war and your studies, I bet you're so busy you barely have time to sleep. <laughs> I should have known the Divine One would see right through me. That's right. Nothing gets by me. If you really wouldn't mind, then yes, it would be a big help. Thank you. So... Complete a support conversation with John. Um... Let's hit up the arena. That's really gonna be the most important thing. Well, at least for me anyways. And I think the arena is best used for just anybody who's close to leveling up. Because they might get paired against somebody they genuinely can't beat. Yeah, Ivy. We should probably just go ahead and promote her, honestly. Do you think me a worthy opponent? Hey, relax. Against Fogato? Wow. She could probably have beaten anybody else. And there's nobody else. There's nobody else who we're using who's close enough for leveling up. Etie, if she wins, Etie will level up, but that's not likely. This should be a fun workout. No holding back. Why? I really thought I had you. These arena trainings are something else. And let's use the last one for Jean. Since nobody's getting a level up this go around. Should I really be here? I am Louis, Royal Knight of They're doing this on purpose. They have to be. It's been an honor sparring with you. I just have a hard time believing it's random who they're picking. <sighs> Whatever. Um Now that they've got How much would it cost? 228 Yeah. Let's just go ahead and do that. Ivy, Crown Princess of Illusia. I'm Lynn. I won't be holding back. Uh Okay, she'll win. As long as she doesn't miss here. Victory is yours. But I won't lose next time. Lucky, I suppose. Nice. Only thing that matters. Your ring is something of an heirloom in my family. I suppose that makes things awkward. Not at all. I spent many years in your father's company. King Hyacinth treated me well. Yeah, before he went crazy. Speed taker, bow focus, and skill inheritance. So I think we'll put a master seal on her and the next time Ivy levels up, she'll be our first promoted unit. And before we head out, I don't think I've got, well, I probably have enough to like upgrade one item. Well, do we really need to upgrade though is the question. 
You found it. Now all that's left to do is return to the armory and deliver it. Oh, I guess What's-His-Face did uh, mention that he lost a weapon. Is that what the revanche and Fish thingamabob here. were? You found my weapon. Thank you. Wait, you found both of these in the well? Neither is the one I dropped, but they're great. Clearly not forged in any of the nations I know. You should hold on to these, Divine One. There's something odd about that well. Ancient well. You can drop your unwanted items into the well. When you do, they'll disappear forever. Come back after at least one battle, however, and you'll find new items have taken their place. The more valuable items you drop, the more likely what you find is an upgrade in value. Uh, yeah, we will definitely be doing that. Why can we not just speed our way over to the friggin' well? We can fish at the pond, but... Alright, so what do we want to throw away? The Slim Sword. It won't let us do it for the liberation. <laughs> Iron blade. I think. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Let's... Jeez. I wonder if we can game this particular system by buying a whole bunch of crap items. Probably not. Bond fragments. Don't mind if I do. Alright, I won't, uh... If I get stuck, I'll come back and get all this stuff set up. But for right now, we just want to eat. Milk. Oh, and the upgrade for the thing. But somebody mentioned that um, going super all in on upgrading is kind of a trap. And I mean, so far I haven't missed not being able to like adopt a bunch of animals. So we're fine there, at least for right now. Glad you could join me. Diamant looks fancy. Disposed of clan's meal. I didn't know he would throw it away, but does that make Bunei's thing really friggin' useless? You can only have one packed meal on you at a single time, and his bonus is completely dependent on having a packed meal. Let's do Anna. Anna's also got one with Zelkov. It looks like Anna can't support anybody that we're using. Hmm. So I guess in that case... Hmm. Braised beef and grape sauce, meat dongo and cream sauce. Strength, magic, speed, and defense one. And let's use a rare fruit. I'm not Sir. much of a cook, but I'll do my best. This is the recipe? These steps are confusing. I trust Diamond. I'm not sure how this is going to taste. I bet this would be a hit with customers. Lovely aroma. All right. Only a D though. But it probably got us a new support conversation. Yes, sir. Hmm. Maybe I'm coming at this wrong. What are you thinking about, Anna? Oh, that's Lady Anna to you. But to answer your question, I'm brainstorming new products. 
Quite a bold thing to say to the divine dragon of all people. More stuff to sell, huh? Yep. You know what Sweetheart's Day is? I'm assuming Valentine's Day on this planet. I think I've heard of it. It's where couples give each other gifts, right? That's the one. Usually people just give each other flowers, but the same old gift every year loses its luster. So, I'm out to market something mind-blowing that'll bring the spark back to Sweetheart's Day. Wow, that's a pretty lofty goal. Well, quit treating me like a kid and help me out here, Divine One. Nothing I've come up with so far has grabbed me, so I could use someone else's input. What do we know about Sweethearts? It doesn't look like you can S-support anybody in this game. Hmm. Let's see here. Something new for Sweethearts Day. How about... Uh, necklaces? <laughs> I see you have your finger on the pulse of the average Sweethearts Day participant. So shady! Necklaces are almost as played out as flowers. They're hardly going to blow anyone's mind. Oh, I see. Customers don't want something they can get anywhere. They want something one of a kind. Oh, the constant need to come up with goods like that is what makes my line of work so tricky. But also probably so rewarding. Got it. I'll keep thinking. We'll come up with something good eventually. Alright, and so far that means we've now gotten a support with both of our Paralog people. But more importantly, we got plenty of good stuff. Hmm. Alright, so let's do this. And then as soon as we recruit that... As soon as we recruit that princess, we will double back and do those Paralogs. A high score in Wyvern Ride. Wait, what's Wy what's Wyvern Ride? There's so much stuff on the Somniel that it just looks like... Ugh, well, whatever. The Somniel is a big place, but it's not as interesting to me as Garrick Mach was. So. Chapter 13, Heroes of the Oasis. Divine One. Royals of the Three Kingdoms. Welcome to Solm Palace. Okay. Sephoria. I'm Sephoria, the Queen of Solm. It's an honor to meet you, Queen Sephoria. And you. Really, it's a treat. Wow, oh, they all they do all have those eyes. And a surprise. I never expected Fogato to bring the divine dragon here. Her voice actress is definitely black. Out of everything he's done on his outings. This is the most impressive. And Fire Emblem's actually gotten... Well, I guess Fire Emblem... No. I think it's only been recently that they've... Uh, really actually cared about, like... Putting characters who aren't all pale as the... Uh, pale as the untouched snow in their games. I was just doing what any prince would do for his queen. That's mom to you. My son tries to act so cool, so detached. Anyway, so. those introductions when you arrived, there were a lot of them. Yes, we definitely don't let anybody die, Queen Sephoria. Even people we have zero intention of using. First you, Divine One, and then the Firenese, Brodian, and Illusion royalty. Yes, ma'am. Quite the guest list. I was so overwhelmed, I nearly fell off my throne. You have my apologies. We're here about a very important matter. Yeah, we kind of effed up and Sombron is back on the groove. Yes, you said. Fell Dragon Sombron's return. I had no idea all that was happening. And he created those creatures, hmm? That explains why they're so vicious. But your palace hasn't been attacked by the Corrupted? Or Illusion forces? If we couldn't find it, there's no way a bunch of mindless corrupted could. Oh, it has. We got rid of them. Oh, dang, we're dumber than the corrupted. I see. You got rid of them. Wait, really? All of them? You seem surprised. I'm impressed, but certainly glad no one's breached the palace. I'm sorry to hear the other countries are having a harder time of it. 
and Queen Lumera. Right. I don't know, dude. There's something weird about what there's something weird about Lumera. I visited her in Lethos many times. She was always very gracious. Naturally, the Queendom of Solm stands with you in your war against the Fell Dragon. Perfect. Thank you. On that note, I have a request. The Ring of the Radiant Hero, which was entrusted to Solm. May I take it? Yes, dude. We like Ike around these parts. Of course. I'll get it right away. But Ike doesn't Wait. seem to... Hmm. Is she going to administer a test for us first? Where was it again? She's misplaced it? <sighs> I haven't seen it for a while. Fogato, do you know where the ring might be? I'm assuming... Okay, because Ike's not an archer. And I feel like the princess is going to be our dancer. So Fogato being an archer and the princess, if my assumption is right, being a dancer means that there's no one here that Ike would really... Oh, but if dancers can use swords... I don't know. I don't think Ike... I, it makes sense that they wouldn't be able to make use of Ike, I think, if my assumptions are correct. No clue. Maybe it's in the doodad drawer? Hmm. Please, wait here a moment. I love them. I love them oh. so much. Uh, okay. The doodad drawer. Right, especially... Ap Ivy literally just got done telling... Uh, Lynn, how their ring was a family heirloom, but here it's just a ring. Has it been lying around in a musty cupboard this whole time? Sounds like. This is one of the strongest emblem rings. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, you know what? I just remembered. Tamara took it with her. So that's her name, Tamara. Tamara? My sister. Also the crown princess. She's set to inherit my crown. And like Fogato, she's always out doing who knows what. So I guess they don't call it the Queendom just because they've got a queen. It looks like it's uh, a matriarchy lineage. Fogato probably was never... Uh, Fogato was definitely older than Tamara. But it looks like Fogato was never going to be able to inherit it. Well, I guess he could be queen if he really wanted to, but... To be fair, I acted the same when I was young. Anyway, she's been gone for days. So she's probably been out there at the Oasis then. Probably on a camping trip. Oh, that sounds great right now. So it's true. The Crown Princess and Prince aren't around much. And she doesn't know when they'll be back. I like that. It didn't turn out to be some weird grand conspiracy. She was literally telling them the truth. They're not there. She's got no idea when they'll be back. So it was just chance that they never met before. We can look for Princess Tamara. Do you have any idea where she might be? I think she was heading to the Southern Desert, in which case she'd set up camp in the Oasis. All right, then. We'll head there. You know, a trip to the Oasis is just what I need. I'll pack my things. Wait. <laughs> okay, why not? Yeah, actually, Mom, how about you stay put? Wait, why not? Oh, all right. New kids go on without me. Aww. If you find Tamara, do summon the emblem, will you? I'd love to meet him. They, they've never done that before? Be careful. It's already getting dark out. Oh, wait, right, because only the Divine One can speak the words or whatever the heck. But yeah, I'd love to meet Ike, too. Come on, everyone. I'll lead the way. All right, and we'll have to do, remember, because I also I forgot to do my emblem swapping. Mm. This meat is going to hit the spot. I hope you're hungry for fun, because that's what's on the menu first! <clears throat> and now, an exclusive performance from the one and only... Tamara! Is she by herself? I'll be performing my favorite song with my backup singers. Marin and Panette. Ready. As am I. Whoa. <laughs> Whatever she's got going on is cool. Hope you remember the words. And a Wait. one and a two. Is Marin some kind of fox thing? Meat, meat, meaty meat, meat. 
what have we here? A bunch of pretty birds squawking away in the night. Ha! Cheap, cheap. So these guys, what are they? Because normally you get the two lipstick wearing brutes, but I guess these guys, I guess they dropped that particular bit. If you've been a long time Fire Emblem player, you know what I'm talking about. Cheap, cheap is right. But there's nothing cheap about the ring that one has. Let's grab it. Midi, midi, ah uh, yeah, midi, midi, uh uh. Techie and Tachi. Hey, hey, quit your con. Who are you two? Come on, wake up. What do you think? We're bandits. B and what do bandits do? Take stuff like your fancy ring there. Give it. Don't think that'll be happening. Oh, oh, that's all? You're in trouble. Really in it, right now. In it and surrounded by it. We've got monsters, big fans of ours. These two and way more. They were somehow able to get the corrupted to listen to them? How'd they manage that? <gasps> so, we asked nicely, but you had to make us mad. Now, we'll do this our way. I saw a bonfire. That's gotta be her. What were those strange sounds? The sounds of battle brewing. Tamara and her friends singing. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. People call them the racket of Solm for a reason. Weird that they stopped. An attack, you think? Yes, sir. Let's get over there and find out. Is it kind of bad that that was his very first impulse? Not they were tired or they decided to switch things up. Samira. Oh, hey, Fagato. So, you're Princess Tamara. Nice to meet you. Don't tell me. You're the Divine Dragon, right? I would be so surprised if she wasn't our dancer. Fagato wouldn't have come here unless he found you first. He wouldn't have... what? Uh, not important. We've got bigger stakes to roast. Have to deal with these bandits for a start. Mmm. So Fogato meeting us out there might not have been as much of a coinky dink as we thought. It'd really help if you could use your summoning powers on this ring. That ring even looks way more solid than a lot of the other ones. The ring of the Radiant Hero. I've always wanted to meet the person who lives in here. Can you make that happen? All right. Great. And a one, and a two. Fight on. Emblem of Radiance. I think that's Radiant Dawn, Ike. He looks a little scrawny, but... Dang, those arms! You're ready to fight! Right, the sleevelessness is what pushes me to think it's Radiant Dawn, Ike. I'm Ike. Make sure you use me wisely. Thanks for your help, Ike. You'll be fighting alongside Princess Tamara in this battle. So she will be using... She must, she must be able to use swords, then. Probably swords and staves. Silence. A staff that prevents foes from using tomes or staves for one turn. So. Let us see how many units they give us. Oh, okay. And it's dark out. Dang. And he's got a shielding art. Party animal is so good. Uh. <laughs> and what's uh, that eleven sword? Let me make sure. A magical sword that can strike closer at range. Somebody... 
a magic user. The only real, like, Saline is really the only person I can think of who would be able to utilize that. But the main reason we did that is so that we could give her a Master Seal. One more level. All we're wanting. All my Master Seals are probably in people's inventories. Or not. Where the heck are my Master Seals? I know I've got like three of them. Wait, what? Where are my Master Seals? I literally just got one. Hmm. I don't know what's going on with that. Do I have to use them? Oh, change class. Okay. You can't use them like a regular item anymore? Proficiencies. Proficiency is required to change a unit to a different class. All units start with innate proficiencies. Units have the strongest potential in those areas. Units can acquire new proficiencies from emblems. This allows them to change to any class. So there's no class restrictions whatsoever? We can make her a Lindworm. Grasping Void. When attacking with a Tome, unit may deal extra damage equal to half of foe's magic. Trigger percent equals dex. Grasping Void, that's a... What is it? There's another... There's like a Dark Mage skill that also does something similar. I can't remember its name, though. But any, any character can become any wolf. That's it, then. That must be what, uh, that must be what Panette is. But that means we can't, we can't do it on the fly, then. And I guess this is what we need our bond points for. So instead of grinding maps in order to get people proficiencies, we can just pay for it with bond points. Uh, let's save over this one. And Jean is going to need torch and also Oh, she needs a... Uh, let's take a... There we go. Take a vulnerary off of you. Definitely not going to be needing that anytime soon. And also this torch. Alright. I'm thinking... Do any of you... Stiletto. Well, I'm not using Yunaka this map anyways, so it's not like that matters. But I am using Etie. And the silver bow is stronger than the steel bow, so she doesn't need the iron bow anymore. Alright. Time to fight. What's that? More? Those cheap, cheap birds must have gone con for help. Fooey? That's what I say. They won't beat our monsters. That's right. Not to mention our thieves. Experts in the yard of Ransackery. Yeah, that's not what we want to hear. So we got to race these jokers to the buildings. gets hurt. Marin, Penet, come on! As you command, my princess, we'll crush them with the hammer of justice. 
Indeed. They shall sorely regret terrorizing these poor, innocent people. Oh! Tamara, Marin, and Panette joined your group. Defeat Tekshi and Takshi. Hmm. So she has a lance. She's a sentinel. She's got a silver lance and she's level 18. Racket of Soul inflicts crit minus foe on foes within three, crit minus five on foes within three spaces. And then Ike Demolish. Break destructible terrain in a single blow when using destroy. Resolve. Is unit, if unit's HP is 75% or less after combat, grants defense res plus five as you... Uh, wow, that's actually pretty good. Lagoose friend. Unit takes 50% less damage, but sets a, units avoid to zero. What does that have to do with Lagoose? Great ether. Used to grant defense res plus five, but unit can't counter for one turn. Next turn, attack a two space area. Heal HP equals 30% of damage dealt. Sword axe only. There's a lot going on with that. But I can see why they call it one of the more powerful ones, Wolf Knight. Knights who dart over the battlefield mounted on wolves. Their knife strikes are the ruin of enemy camps. Cavalry units have higher movement than other units. She's got an elixir too, a steel sword. But they're basically just mounted, uh, mounted knife users. Knightly escort. When two or more female allies are within two spaces, grants hit avoid plus five to unit and those allies. And now Panette is a berserker. She's promoted. Okay. Wait, is the Wolf Knight also? The Wolf Knight is also promoted. So I guess it's the same with the Sentinels. And her thing, Blood Fury. If unit's HP is not at max after combat, grants crit plus 10 as long as unit's HP stays below max. Uh, so I'm assuming she's probably really good. She's kind of whatever. And then Demolish is basically I'm honored. what makes her good. So first, we'll break you. I probably should have had her stand to the side. Because now she's kind of body blocking. The way forward is blocked, but not for long. Hmm. Go, Tamara. With my strength, you'll have no problem opening up a path. Emblemike. Emblemike's robust offense and endurance increase as he takes damage. The Sync Skill Resolve increases defense and resistance as HP decreases. The Engage Weapon Hammer can smash foes and deal bonus damage to armored ones. The Engage Skill Lagoose Friend halves incoming damage and reduces a void rate to zero. The Engage Attack Great Eater hardens the unit's defenses for one turn, then attacks an area and recovers HP. So basically, Ike is the Turtle Master. Oh, she's got a freaking javelin. Of course. We're golden. Now let's go ahead and get you the heck out of here. Um. With elegance. Instead of destroying, let's just visit. Uh, what's that? The bandits. Oh, jeez. I'd rather you get a hold of this than they do. Seraph robe. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So now what we have to do I is... Start... Wait, hold on. Because uh, we're in a bit of a situation. Can't really move. Gotcha. Yeah, let's light you up. And there's two of these stupid things. I'm ready. I'm ready. Right, Diamant cannot reach. Hmm. 
Wow. Uh. That's the only thing. I'm not sure which of these buildings. I've got this. Okay, that's I fine. To serve. I'm not worried about that whatsoever. Have you go down here? Uh, Off I go. John can reach. He can't destroy it, though. You think the village will loot itself? Get gone! Yeah, start at that house there. Nope. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> So I guess that was meant to like how? Farewell to you. Wow, that's cool. Was it not? I'm wondering cuz there's warp has a range. I think in order to get that she got broken. I think in order to even get that, you'd have to warp somebody close enough. It might not. I'm really wondering what was in that house. I don't think I'm. I don't think there's. How in the world? Because at most, at the very most, warp could get us, like, right here or something. There's not a way for us to get there in time. Hmm. Intriguing. Me. Very, very intriguing. Well, the silver lance is fine. That works out. Think whatever you like. Uh, she can actually just annihilate. Yeah. I'll beat you to a pulp. Panette, dude. Bad. We'll. Start destroying this. I don't know, dude. Especially since I'm not sure. Yeah, like these houses. I don't know. I just won't worry about it. How about that? I just won't worry about it. Four. Yeah, we definitely want to go ahead and get the break off first. Now, you can do a little bit of this action. And I'm sure some Wyvern Riders in the dark are going to come at us next turn. We'll be ready for them, though. We're not worried. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh... This guy has a silver sword and is very strong. You're pretty strong, huh? Didn't do anything but got the level up. Nice. Her strength is insane. Hmm. Let's still can't get the friggin' destroy. That is okay. Whoa. Except for this dude with the bow. Sixteen on the counter attack. Uh. 
Let's do this. Can we... A 34% chance. Come and get us. No. Nice. Didn't get what we wanted. But that's okay. What are the odds that we get one shot? I would say they're pretty low. And if we do, we'll just not do this next turn. There's that critical we were looking for. Whoa, that's a horrible level. And of course, that's what we're going to be contending with for the rest of the freaking time. Oh, wow. Anna. only level 9 and we're starting to go up against promoted units yeah I think the game has been expecting us to grind let's go back to before Diamant attacked and we will instead speed of 15 speed of 16 Yeah. Just go ahead and have... Whoa, a 31% chance to hit. Allow me. Yeah, it was... Not gonna happen, pretty much. This, though, should result in a nice little win for us. Victory is mine. It was only a 59% chance, so I probably should not have risked it. Oh, that's pretty good. Sniper, that's why. That's a promoted friggin' unit. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and light you up. Now you... Defense is 16. And you have 30 physical attack. Way too much. Hmm. Attack. That'll be a 9 on the counter attack. And a speed of 10. That's the problem with the sniper. Speed of 15. I think we might just want to abandon this side. And have everybody just go over here. There's a little too much action going on. As long as he's going to stand there, why not, right? That horrible level is back. And now let's light our torch. The Seraph robe is nice and all. Oh, the Silver Dagger is way stronger. Oh, and Demolish Prox! Okay, cool. Well, that works. Ooh, this, however, does not. Yeah, zero damage. That's okay. The Smash, though. I forgot about that. Uh. Hmm. 
This one's probably gonna be a really good opportunity to grind up Etie. Pretty weak. Get her to at least level 15. Um, and everybody else. Yeah, he doesn't need to be down there anymore. Now, Anna is the main problem. But I'm sure that one paralog that we unlocked forever ago that I completely didn't realize will be a good opportunity to get her some levels. Yeah, we probably lost out on a bunch of items. But I'm not worried about it. Let's move Diamant into this guy's range. And of course, she'll be moving through and destroying everything. And then our Silver Dagger user will be right there. Okay. I will atone. Now we're gonna need to be able to jump this guy. Because anybody who gets close. Okay, there's an item right there that we can see. Hmm. So we can rush down to that. Yeah. Do you have a. You've got a vulnerary and the Seraph robe. And as long as she's not at full HP. Yeah, 43 out of 46, that's a really good spot to be in. And he can stop right there. Now, I'm assuming we're going to have to deal with Wyvern Riders on our six. Basically, the entire time we're making our way down. Or I guess in this context, it'll be on our 12. Nice! Much less nice. She got him, though. Put that damage down. 30! But it's only a 29 chance to hit. Whoa. Yeah, see? Trillions of them. Now, the issue. First... Oh, okay. I'm like, why is our Killer Lance not coming up? Let's chance it on the Killer Lance. It was a good idea to chance it on the Killer Lance. Now. She can't get close enough. So instead of trying for the Longbow. Let's instead completely massacre this guy. It for you. Like now. All right. I wish she'd have been a dancer. That would have been very nice. Either way, with Buddy Boy right there boxed out. Let's turn around. Now, we've got a situation here. Who's got the most defense? 11. She's got a defense of 17 thanks to our buddy boy. back you up. We'll have her sit here and in. Hmm. Yeah, let's have her engage. Grant me strength and victory. 
And then with that, endure to hit next, uh, endure to hit area next turn. Is that a rare critter? Now you will engage the bonded strength. pair, or bonded shield rather. Okay, cool. Dexterity plus two. Okay, so far so good. Stay back. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, everybody just come and get some. I'll protect you. And it happens every time, just as busted as it always was. Yeah, I think we'll be using Ike a lot. Couldn't get the kill there, but that's fine. Whoa. Of course, this freaking guy had to be forever away. What is this? Alright. Nice! The killer weapons! Unfreaking rivaled! An awful level, though. This will break us. Oh, no. Yeah, that sucks. But next turn, we got this thing. So it's all golden. Don't stand in my way. Yeah. Whoa. There was a lot going on. Oh, she attacks everybody individually? Watching all those procs is really satisfying. Grant's defense plus two. All right. Now, Anna. There it is. Now, in order to make sure that we don't regret that, I'll manage. Let's start. We have a ten percent chance to crit. Ready. There it is. I'll change the future into hope. Now, can we make it? It'll be a little touch and go. Hmm. Well, first things first. Even though it's just going to be a light tap. And Etier. This will not be a light tap. I'm here. That was a good session. Yeah, this is an excellent uh -oh. map for her. And Jean cannot heal right now. Not as great. Let's uh, get something out of the convoy for him. A mend and a physic. And for everybody else, let's go ahead and just keep it moving steadily along. Whoa! Jeez! Heavy hitter, aren't you? Alright. Can she... I think if we... Yeah, if we move him... One spot... I should have done this before we even got out here, but... We'll take this iron body art. Now, a little bit of help for you for next turn. And we've got more wyverns coming at us. 
will be okay though. Oh man! Who can you... Okay, who can you hit? These... Three. Hmm, hmm, hmm. A defense of seven versus a defense of... Yeah. We'll actually move her right there to cut it off. Now these guys... Yes, sir! Go ahead and get you all the way out of here. We do want to kill that corrupted. But we service. want this item more. <laughs> yeah, that hurts a bit, but not anything we can't handle. The break. That's okay. We've got something for that. What? You pesh cats. A fighting knife intended for close combat. Poisons hit foes. And of course it won't drop. That'd be too nice. Um, uh, let's... Now, choosing to wait here might make or break what, what uh, happens next. First, have you wait... Because she can one and done this guy. You're done for. I can still do more. Man, all these flyers. What is with our awful level ups this time? That's our that's our third two point level up. Hmm. Ain't looking too grand. That's for sure. And now on level 12. Another. Well, it's better than what we've been getting, so I won't complain too much. What's our move? Now she. Let's. Let's see if we can get him. We can Astro Storm that guy, but it's ultimately not worth it. And then Diamant can bring up the rear. You've got a defense of 23 versus our defense of 18. And we get something if we're not at max health. Yeah. Well, that'll also proc... Shouldn't I be able to attack them? Yeah. And the double hit. Alright, we'll actually stay... We'll first yeah, make sure our javelin's equipped, but... Then we'll just wait it out. And Anna will be waiting in the wings to do what Anna does best. Only 13. That's fine. I should have switched her to Elfire, though. And now they're both poisoned as well. Hmm. So, first things first. Soften you up. Because the name of the game is Feed yes. Anna Some Kills. Uh, yeah, that's fine. 
A 5% chance to crit. Whoa. But I was not looking at how close we were to missing. Hmm. Anything for you. Dang, she'll light this dude up. Anna is too far away. All right, that's fine. We'll just accept what we've got going on. The miss? That's interesting. You can spear him, at least. That's the problem. They're really dodgy. Hopefully we can get him with this. No. He leveled up, though, so that's cool. A really good level up. Okay. Now let's play who can actually reach any of these guys. Alright, yeah, this is what we're gonna need. Now Diamond can just run up and do his thing. Go ahead and get you all the way out of here. And that leaves us with the kill. Come and get him on. Jeez. I had to stop you. So far so good though. It took a lot more resources than I would have liked for us to get that kill there, but hmm. the enemies aren't too shabby. Now the big problem is Wyverns appearing. Yeah, they'll be on our tail. First things first. We will heal and restore her. Uh... Let's... Mend first. I think that's going to be more important. Much improved. She'll be able to run over here and make short work of this. Or he. I mixed him up with Marin. Uh, yeah. These two can stand here as... Well, no. We've got better Sentinels, actually. Man, so many poison people we gotta heal. But I doubt I'm gonna be getting any other items this this match, this go around. So we'll hmm, I should be having somebody stand here so that we can snipe from three away. He'll probably be our best bet for that. Yeah, 24 defense. Second only to her with her boost. Alright, we got hate on two fronts. And we're not worried. A rescue! Well, I'm glad we were able to get that. Well, let's not aggro this guy just yet. Hmm. I will obey. Uh, we will restore you. Uh, she's gonna have to walk up and put in a little effort. 
with that L fire. Whoa! Uh, she should be able to get the kill. Hopefully, anyways. Yep. One silver bow slaying coming right up. And. Yeah. Good stuff. Now we're in for some less good stuff. Anna. With this backup here. And then she can also back up. I don't think the item has to be equipped. If they can counter attack, they will. But we want to make sure that that can happen. And then we'll have these guys parked over here. Yeah, we've got our nice little corner of the map all set. standing too far away. So, the only problem is that next turn... Hmm, not sure what happened to our backups. They should have been able to attack. Okay. First. Me first. Where'd you buy that weapon? So that's good. Not a worry. And the steel sword to just barely be able to get the kill. Or just barely line him up. Now she'll be able to come up. Longbow you to death. Exactly as much damage as we needed. That one point of strength that we got on the level up. That's what we can attribute that to. And this person is yeah, broken, so it doesn't matter. I'll help. Wow. It really didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Now the only real problem. The Diamant could die next turn, so. So the Rack of the Solm is actually pretty useful, I'm thinking. So we don't really have the, uh. We don't really have the. The luxury of not going all in here. It would have been preferable if we'd gotten that kill. But, it's whatever. Whoa. Okay, uh... We'll definitely be coming at us next turn, but... Kind of you. Man. And I think our defense should be... Yeah, 17-19. As long as Buddy Boy... And what's our speed at? 9. 20. He'll double us. I must focus. Uh, I'd prefer not using the elixir. But you know what? We really cannot be picky right here. She... Has backup. All right, that's fine. So she doesn't get jumped next turn. You looking down on me? Serves you right. All right. I think that went pretty friggin' well. And now this time you're dead. 
Good stuff. And if she doesn't get the, uh... Whoa, another one. Ooh, okay. Did not see him waiting in the dark. 17. All right. My people in the Queendom of Solm. Well, I think let's go back to before before we have Tamara attack. And I think what we'll do this time is mend her. So even though she's still poisoned, this time, nice, because I don't want a speed of 16 and a speed of 11. Well, Diamant won't get doubled, but she will. All right, so we'll stick to the Silver Lance. She won't die this time. And we will actually open up this go round with one of these. I'll go first. Yeah. Now. Yes, yes. An 85% chance to hit. And instead of going in, she'll drop the vulnerary. Yeah, and then be ready to go ahead and be a stopgap for all of those guys. Ha! Huh. I did. All right, none of this, none of this stuff is gonna happen now. Hmm. Interesting. We didn't have to start time crystalling until here. John used the staff. Panette attacked. Tamara attacked. Let's have her attack from a distance. Emblem. Uh. Or maybe just. Sixty five per cent chance. Here we go. Probably didn't have to engage for that. But we do what we must because we can. So this time, because that's what happened last go around. We killed the dude, but then what's her face? Actually, we can't just use the elixir since she doesn't have to attack. And then let's have him make a desperate mad dash. Right, two. Yeah. And the smash. Oh, that would have pushed us to a safe distance. Crap. Alright, so let's not let's not have Marin 
stand there this time. We'll actually have her stand right here. So that way he'll be able to actually walk closer. Now if he uses, if he hits us with the Smash Sword, or the Iron Blade rather, yeah. Now that'll push us to safety, which is actually good for us. Whoa. It did not push us to safety, but this time he just missed, so we'll take our luck where we can get it. 22. Oh my god. Nice! The artful dodges! Keeping us in the friggin' game. Let's... Diamant first. No, not Diamant first. Let's instead have someone with a little more armor get in there. You're done for my turn. <laughs> well, that went well. Level 14 for you. Another really bad level hmm. uh, we'll have Etia open up with this looks like I broke up then Let's restore you so you're not taking additional damage for no reason. She'll actually... Okay, now we're not worried about you. This guy... One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. All right. Who's got a defense of 13, a defense of 7, a defense of 8? It's going to have to be her standing in the line of fire. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, he can reach. Let's first have her soften this guy up. Now he should be within kill range for Buddy Boy right here. A 96. We're gonna have to bank on the spear, otherwise it's a reset. This is what I trained for. And now that's speed of four, but this guy's got a speed of five. So instead of anything else, yeah, let's just go ahead and light him up. That's it for you. And we're only getting faster. Bow proficiency. Uh, everybody else can make their merry way down. Jean doing solo heal duty. It's a lot. He doesn't need a vulnerary, though. Does she have... She does have a vulnerary. We'll give her the iron body art. Come closer. Hmm. Understood. She'll get this down. Uh, and then one second. I really hate spring, but that's neither here nor there right now. Attack. Whoa. Oh, but only an 18%. Somebody's worried about that. Victory was mine. 
dual assist. If unit is able to chain attack, unit will do so when allies attack foes. Unit could reach by moving. Only a 35% chance to trigger, though. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get you. We won't kill him, but I don't want to engage and not actually use this. Defense of 15 to her defense of 12. But she's dodgy. Go ahead and restore you. We desperately need her to not be taking as much damage. Level 13 for Jean. Can this one be good too? Well, uh, I'll take it. He's pretty solid all around, stats wise. Could definitely be a tiny bit better. Alright, but Anna. And Etier will also just meander forward. So far, so golden. And having Louis bring up the rear is the smartest option for us here. Nothing I hate worse than a meddler. You stuck your nose in our business, you'll pay. I did not know that was Texi and Takshi coming at us. 27% chance to hit, so he basically won't ever hit. Ooh, the chain attack though. That's it for you. Whoa! An amazing level! And we got an L win. The Oasis is ours, you hear? We've got exclusive plundering rights. Oh, well, hey. No honor among thieves here. Yeah, we could have gotten extremely unlucky right there. And now both of them are going to be thorns in our side. She'll be extremely ducky and dodgy, which is good for us. And... Well, actually, if our L fire is going to do that much, he's got a friggin' Tomahawk! Can we still get him with our Thunder? Of course not. Let's go for this right here. Allow me. If I'd realized that was Techie and Tachi, I would have attacked them rather than having them, or rather than allowing them to attack us. Or rather than going for the Elwyn guy. All nearby allies chain attack, which is pretty good. The liberation gives him the smallest chance to hit. I'll change the future into hope. And now that Buddy Boy is broken, uh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> The Killer Lance would be best. And then we might have to... No, the Killer Lance would not be best. Actually, let's back up. Because I don't think that's going to be... 
I don't think that's going to turn out very well for us. Because these guys, these guys are about to be a problem. Great Ether. They can get anybody right there, huh? Having him be so far away... She's got 46 HP, though. She won't get that bonus crit, but she'll be able to help out at least. But yeah, nobody is walking over there. Too much going on. Whoa. Well, that's bad. Nice. I'll take it. This has completely missed both of them. Uh, let's start. Well, we really have to start by breaking these, uh, breaking this guy. Man. She could have been closer, that would have been way preferable. And... And the Tomahawk, dude. Allow me. So now she can get up there and help out. I probably could have played this turn better. Yes, I let my brother down again. Cool. Tamara's first level with us. Uh, I guess that's an okay level. Now what I probably should have done... A 37% chance to hit. If this doesn't go our way... Alright. It did go our way, so we don't have to sweat that. Should I? He'll break us if he hits us. And he's got a pretty high chance of hitting us. It's because our speed is so bad. Diamant, Diamant's got a nice defense value, but if I end up having to redo this, I will probably move or have What's-Her-Face attack the other guy instead. I have no idea why I didn't just do that in the first place, but... Which of these won't let him get doubled? The Javelin and the Killer Lance. So we just have to make sure we have the Killer Lance equipped. Now, Etsye will be able to... She can't attack safely, but she can move up. Huh. Not the move I'd have made, but you know what? It's a move. 
So, to start with... We'll go ahead and break this guy. And... We will... End him... With a silver dagger. I'll go first. I'm in your debt. Wait, we never hit him with the dagger! Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Even if we get hit, it'll only be... It won't kill us. And he's not broken anymore. That certainly sucks. A 55% chance of completely ending us. Eh, what's the worst that could happen? Allow me. A complete miss, but the one hit was enough, I think. Yes, sir. Here we go. All right, gold. Was it much of a big brother? Was I? Overall, not too difficult whatsoever. And that's it. That's it. That's all. Um, Heroes of the Oasis pre-battle. Let's save over the Somniel for that. Oh, man. Not dealing with that what sniper. Takes care of that? Sorry for roping you into the scuffle, Divine One. Not dealing with the sniper kind of sucks, but it's whatever. That's all right. But I haven't had a chance to say why I'm here. I already explained this to Queen Sephoria and Prince Vagato, but... The Fell Dragon has been released. He's back. And we need your help. Hmm. It's sudden, I know. You're probably shocked. I already knew. Really? How'd you know? You did? Mom and Fogato did too. We've all known for a while now. Why did Queen Sephoria... Well, I don't think she played dumb, though. Fogato, you too? Sorry. Truth is, our chance meeting in Tula Desert wasn't totally by chance. Figured. Were you deceiving us? The opposite, actually. I had to make sure that you weren't deceiving us. When the Fell Dragon returned, we had to take steps to protect our country. I'll lay it out for you. The palace has scouts all over Elios, keeping an eye on the Three Kingdoms. Ah! When Elusia brought back the Fell Dragon, we learned about it early on. But we couldn't beat him without the Emblem Rings. And we couldn't use them without you. Our only option was to focus on defense. So that's why she said what she said. Like, if Agato had determined that there was something up with us, then they'd have never gotten here. He'd have left us lost in the desert. The Corrupted started appearing, so we had to quickly lay out a plan. And what was the plan? First off, Mom would stay in the palace. She'd work with the Royal Guard to keep out intruders. And we'd send out our militia, the Sentinels, to bolster soldiers' efforts against the Corrupted. As Captain, my job was to watch out for the Corrupted near the Illusion border. If someone claimed to be the Divine Dragon, I'd size him up and bring him to the palace. That's why you hid the fact you're a prince. Right, okay. All planned, right from the get-go. I was in the Sentinels, too, and I wandered the country, keeping our rings safe. As part of this plan, did you ever consider asking for another country's help? No, because then we'd have to help them. Ah. We can't fight another country's battles. We're stretched thin fighting our own. Oh, and she's got the eyes, too. I'm just now noticing. That's how Solm does it. You scratch your own back, we'll scratch ours. Thank you very much. I see. I'm sorry we misled you, but we did it to protect the Queendom. 
I don't mean to criticize your country's way of doing things. I'm just surprised. Here's the most important part of the plan, though. Do tell. If you did turn out to be the Divine Dragon, we'd give you the Ring of the Radiant Hero. And then tell you where to find our other emblem ring. They've got a second one, too? Everybody's got two rings, apparently. Solm has a second ring? Yep. The Ring of the Crux of Fate. It's in the... The Ring of the Crux of Fate? That's Corin. It's definitely Corin. Your Highness, a message from Solm Palace. Huh? What is it? We have to double back so we can help out Queen Sephoria. But if it's at Solm Palace, then we probably won't be able to walk past it to get to the paralogs. Hortensia, Princess of Elugia, has breached the palace. Jeez, dude, she just doesn't quit. Well, we'll probably recruit her after this one once she sees that Ivy is alive. Oh. Oh. What? How did she get in? We have to save Mom. Let's go. All right. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself, Emblem Sigurd, a noble knight who, as a descendant of the Crusader Baldur, inherited the legendary legacy of a sacred braid, uh, a sacred blade. And I think his was the tear thing. No, that feels wrong. No, it was the tear thing because the mistletane was a. Uh, the mistletane was um. Elf. Lachis is his older brother, whose name escapes me at this moment. It's it was L something. L. Eldigan, Eldigan, that was his name. The tear, the mistletane was Eldigan's weapon, I think. Anyways, that's literally neither here nor there. Nothing to do with anything going on right now. We're gonna, we're actually going to leave the queen on hold for a mo, uh, for a moment, and we're going to do those paralogs that I neglected. That's all gonna be next time though. So definitely join me then for more Fire Emblem Fates, Fire Emblem and Gage. Oh my gosh, I've got so many other games on that. Bye for now, guys. Bye for now, guys.